Hi, my name is Isa Trapani, and I make books for kids. You might know some of the characters in my stories. Characters like the little teapot, short and stout, Baba Black Sheep, and Old MacDonald who had a farm. Today, I want to talk to you about one character in particular, the Itsy Bitsy Spider. Tell us about your character. The idea for this character was inspired by my love of nursery rhymes. I was born in another country, Poland, and I came to America when I was seven. My relatives gave me a big mother goose book and I learned English through those rhymes. I loved reading them and then learning the songs. Many years later, I started writing and illustrating children's books. And my publisher and I thought it would be fun to retell a nursery rhyme. We decided on the Itsy Bitsy Spider because it's a song so many children know. And so I started thinking about the little spider and how she climbed up the water spout, got washed down by the rain and climbed back up again. And I realized this was one brave and persistent little spider. By the way, I made her a female because I found out that mostly female spiders spin webs. And I wanted her to spin a web at the end of the story. Starting with the original verse, I continued the spider's adventures beyond the water spout. She climbs up some different places. For example, the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the kitchen wall. Swoosh went the fan and made the spider fall. Off went the fan, no longer did it blow. So the itsy bitsy spider back up the wall did go. And in another verse, the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the rocking chair. Up jumped the cat and knocked her in the air. Down plopped the cat and when he was asleep, the itsy bitsy spider back up the chair did creep. The spider goes up a few more places, getting knocked down each time, but always giving it another try. In the end, she climbs up a maple tree where she spins a web and rests in the sun. How did you come up with this character? In some ways, the itsy bitsy spider is similar to me. Well, I only have two legs, not eight. And I admit I can't spin a web, but I do like to climb. And I spent many years as a rock climber going up and down cliffs, even though I was afraid of heights. I was also persistent in following my dream of making books for children by becoming a good reader and drawing and painting a lot. What made you want to become a creator of books? I still remember story times with my parents and grandmother when I was in Poland. My favorite book was a collection of rhyming poems that were silly and funny and full of great sounds, rhythms, and tongue twisters. That book, titled Stobajek, which means a hundred tales, made me fall in love with words and language, and I wanted to learn to read as soon as I could. In America, I was instantly fascinated with the nursery rhymes, and I just knew that I wanted to make books for kids someday. So, if there is something you love, whether it's writing, drawing, or hoping to be an astronaut someday, remember to be persistent like the itsy bitsy spider, and your dream may come true too. If you found a whale in your bathtub, what would you do? A whale in my bathtub? I'd say, move over, I'm coming in. <laughs> <laughs>